And in this week's Snapshot New York, one of the oldest person, oldest sports in the world takes focus, fencing. It used to be exclusively for royalty, but one man is now making it more inclusive and helping diversify the sport on an international level. Now back to CBS2, Steve Overmeyer. If it wasn't for this sport, I would not be who I am. So what I wanted to do is expose this sport to other African Americans. That's why we started the Peter Westbrook Foundation. This is a lily white sport. Make no bones about it. Peter Westbrook made a career defying the odds. In 1984, he was the first African American man to win an Olympic medal in fencing. He became a six time Olympian. Since then, he's been driving the sport towards progress. This is elevation of our children academically, elevation of our children athletically, and most of all, elevation of your spirit. Before Peter's foundation, New York wasn't considered a fencing hub, but his charity provides fencing lessons for free. And I was open to all communities, as opposed to just white communities, people would have a lot of money. Now anybody can fence. For centuries, an essential part of history has been played by the sword. Foil comes from the light court sword, so the target is only the torso. The epi is the dueling sword, so all body parts are in play. And the saber is a cavalry sword, so it's stabbing and cutting in a sport that is considered physical chess. Being that there's so much strategy, so much tactics involved, it becomes beyond just a physical game, very much like a game of chess. Peter Westbrook's results have been phenomenal. This year, one-third of Team USA's men's fencing team came from the Peter Westbrook Foundation. I call Peter the godfather of the godfathers when it comes to fencing. When you say the name Westbrook, you know that there are going to be Olympians coming. He's introduced more than 4,000 kids to fencing, giving these athletes their best chance to reach their potential and changing the face of the sport. I think New York is uh, an incredible place. Um, I know a lot of people from the foundation have come from the Bronx, Brooklyn, Queens, and Harlem. That includes Daryl Homer. In the last Olympics, he became the first American man to win a silver medal in saber in 112 years. He believes the pace of New York gives local kids a leg up in fencing. Being a kid growing up here, taking the subway back and forth, it prepares you a lot for fencing. Because fencing is like really fast. Um, you have to make quick reactions. You have to manage your emotions. You have to manage time. It's a sport that builds confidence, social skills, and opens academic doors. In this room, Peter has changed the idea of what's possible in fencing and beyond. Your Olympic career is only this much, which is amazing, but your life is this much. If I had a choice, I'd rather you be successful in life. I love the analogy that he gave that New York prepares you for fencing. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Because I can understand that. Yeah, you'd be it on the sense. subway, take that out, nobody would mess with you, right? No, that, that, that was great. And what an inspirational speaker that guy is. I He's know. unbelievable.